day two of v-blogging for every time I am alone. I haven't even typed a blog yet. And you know, this v-blogging is so much more convenient because I can just talk. But I don't have to type. I've got to sit down and type. I can only, you know, I type when I have the urge. <clears throat> it's not mandated in order for me to blog. Why am I blogging? Why am I putting my business out there? Ugh, why would any woman do that? Talk about such nasty personal fucking shit that should be kept in the home. It should be kept in the home. Unfortunately, people don't keep your business in your home. They come into your home, they invade your privacy, and then they go around and they gossip about you and they slander. And I'm one of those people, I'm just like, look, if you're going to talk about me, at least know the truth. That's how I am. So I started the blog. But also, I am a single mother. I do want to empower single mothers. The blog started out strictly for single mothers, but then as I started dating, and having these relationships and encounters with uh, other people and uh, attempting to find a good quality relationship. It became about me, 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 women, femininity, feminine issues, how men are dogs, because they are. Like, they see you and they're like, oh, she's attractive, you know, I want to hit that, right? And the older guy's like, yeah, ha, 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 ha. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're there and you're like, oh my god, you know, you're interested, yada, yada. And they're using you like, you know, and throwing you away like in an old towel, you know. And then they want to recycle you when they get bored and do the laundry and fold you and put you back in the drawer until they want to use you again. It's just so annoying. It's like, how do you expect women, especially the quality of women, to be when you yourself cannot live up to your own standards? Men really need to think about that. But for women... I know that we are hard on each other. We're hard on each other because we're all fighting, looking, searching for the same thing. Everybody has a different way of obtaining it. Um, a lot of girls will click together and talk shit on just one girl. I was usually that one girl. Um, and you know, they could. Some, some girls wouldn't lift a finger or were very dainty, they weren't active. Uh, so they didn't have to deal with a lot of stuff. They're just like, oh, you know, prissy, kind of like owns their hair, their nails, and their makeup, which I'm all for. But sometimes in life, there's more than just hairs, nails, and makeup. Uh, so sometimes you gotta bust your ass. And sometimes it ain't pretty. So being a single mother, that's what single mothers do. Uh, a lot of them work sh crappy jobs, collecting minimum wage, or a little more than, barely making it. And they work hard. Tippet, most they usually work harder than most of the other employees because they're so terrified of losing their job and they're also very used to taking control of situations because that's what they do with their children. They are the leader and their children follow them. So single mothers in the business world are actually very, they're very much needed. Uh, they're very useful, they're, they're very, uh, that, that's something that every company should aspire to, to get more of is single mothers in leadership uh, roles, uh, you know. Um, I think that getting single mothers educated is great, but I think it's really hard, especially when you have little ones. And then you have to worry about income. Uh, I'm a subcontractor. Uh, I don't have a nine to five. I cannot and go to school and raise my daughter and spend the time I need with her. But, you know, there are mothers who do do that. They have a nine to five and they fit school in when they can. It'll take them twice as long to graduate. Um, they're, you know, at a higher risk of uh, not finishing or uh, failing out of their classes. Um, and so these are things that people need to think about. Um, jobs, businesses, uh, corporations, they don't have programs for women to help put them in those leadership jobs, those management positions. Um, it's predominantly male. We're getting more females in, but they're usually not attached to any type of, uh, you know, they don't have dependents. They're usually single women, uh, and they have a lot of time on their hands. They can dedicate and be committed to the job and come in at any time, any hour. Uh, and uh, that leaves single mothers at a disadvantage in, you know, occupationally. And um, when an advancement opportunity comes and they know you have children, I mean, that can also be at a disadvantage. 
well, do you have someone to babysit your children? Well, if I didn't have someone to babysit my children, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you without my child. You know, these are some things we need to say. We need to start being a little cocky about this. Um, and with the men, I'll tell you what, when you have kids, they're like all so nice to your kids and then they don't want nothing to do with you or your kids when they're done with you. So, I mean, who gets hurt? You get hurt, the kid gets hurt, you're depressed, your house is a mess. Been there, done that. Uh, and you know, you just stop, well, I don't want to look good, what am I going to look good for? I run around in freaking sweatpants and t-shirts, like, uh, whose attention am I trying to attract? There's more drama and heartache for myself. So, you know, this can leave single mothers to pay less attention to, you know, the, their uh, outward appearance and, uh, you know, other things. And, and men don't understand that, and they don't care to understand that. And, and that's, you know, why I'm ranting about men. It's like, men, men, men. Why? Because men knock women up and take off. Men always have to be in control. There have been men who knocked up women who have, were... Uh, disadvantaged, taking their kids from them because they had the money and the lawyers and you know left that woman sitting there. Men, 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 men. Men cheat, typically. There are women who cheat, but they usually have like rich daddies and can get away with whatever they want. They'll never be like trapped in a fucking room and the house lit on fire. You know, like some of these crazy guys will do to a woman that they just want to control. I know it sounds extreme, but incidents like that do occur. Abuse is huge, and it's worse for lower class women of any ethnicity, all right? So, and it's gonna get worse as the economy gets worse because when stress increases, especially in relationships, so does domestic violence. It has been proven. So uh, those are some things to think about. Um, any more thoughts for my blog today? Uh, my daughter is taking a nap. I love when she naps. I love when she's awake, but she's through the stage now where she's like doing everything I tell her not to do. So it's just fun because I say no, and when I say no, she just thinks that it's so much fun to do it anyway. Um, so there's no discipline in this house. Um, being a single mother, if I take my daughter out in public and I try to reprimand her, people look at me like I'm Satan. Like, how could you do that to that poor innocent child? She's 17 months, and I'm like, uh, well, she'll be two in October. If I don't start trying to teach her now, she's never gonna learn. But uh, in today's society, it's like you can't punish your kids. So we're gonna have a bunch of kids kind of doing whatever they want, it looks like, and being kind of spoiled and spoon-fed. I'm lower class on the uh, financial scale, but my daughter is spoiled with toys. So, I mean, if my daughter is spoiled, I can only imagine how people with uh, a better income are living, that's for sure. So, uh, that's my read blog, I think, for today. I don't think I have much more to share, any more issues that are just, uh, you know, needing to come out. My little rant and my raves. I hope it helps somebody. Alright, have a great day.